Remember the Sabbath. Remember the Sabbath. The Sabbath day. That's a hot topic on YouTube. Working on the Sabbath or not working on the Sabbath. The Hebrew Israelites or the Seven Day Adventists believe it's a sin to work on the Sabbath. They cite that what God told them in the Old Testament about not working on the Sabbath. But the Ten Commandments is written like remember the Sabbath and to keep it holy. That's the commandment. Remember the Sabbath and to keep it holy. In Exodus, that's the commandment. But in the Mosaic, God told them strictly not to work on the Sabbath. Now, that was for them. It wasn't for the Gentile. New Testament saints. Why? Because when Jesus came, he was accused or working on the Sabbath, violating the Sabbath. I had a, a light discussion a few days ago with some Hebrew Israelites. I, they didn't say they were, but I knew they were. They put in the comments said, well, I asked them, I said, well, wasn't Jesus accused of, of violating the Sabbath? And they, they love not to answer questions. You try to go around around the way. Had to go around the other. Try to go around another way to come back. Well, he was accused about it because of violating the Sabbath. They were, he was a, he was accused of violating the Sabbath. And, and I said, what did he do? They didn't want to answer that. He was working. He was he was performing miracles. He was now he was working. The scriptures say he and his disciples went through the field plucking corn, etc. They didn't want to say that. At first, well, he was accused of violating their law. Yeah, it was their law. It was a law to the Hebrew Israelites. The Ten Commandments, the commandments say, remember the Sabbath and to keep it holy, and to keep it holy. They was given a commandment. Allow not to work on the Sabbath. That's why Jesus educated them about the Sabbath. Well, people just want to looking for an excuse to make money. Jesus went. Jesus went and did good. He was doing good. Then they changed their such. They changed their tone. Well, Jesus was doing good on the Sabbath. He wasn't working. The scriptures say he was working. Describing work. Now, how how, how y'all want to come up and change the New Testament scriptures? Since when working became a, an evil act when God ordained where man want to eat he got to work. Throughout the scriptures, that's all you see, work. New Testament scriptures, work, work, work. Even Apostle Paul talked about being bond or free, slaves or whatnot. There's scriptures in the New Testament where he talked about obeying your masters. If you under bond, that means if your masters or whoever you're under, you have to work on certain days 
then the Bible said, obey those that have rule over you. Look at society now. Y'all going to curse over who? Over half society to have to work on the weekend, Sabbath. Y'all gonna curse this society? The Bible moved forward. God knew it would come. He, he already know that we can be we under the hand of wicked authority, wicked government, obey the government. It's not like everybody had a liberty to own a business where you can pick and choose what day you want to work. Look at look at all the industry, what I'm in, truck driver industry. People that had to travel for a living. Military. All sorts. Flights. Plane attendants. Pl pilots. Polices. Firemen. All sorts of trades. All sorts of work. People had to work on the weekend. So you going to curse them people? For working on the Sabbath? God did ordain work right on his work. Everything is not going to be held, to, held against us. That's what they fail to understand. They think everything that we do is going to be held against us like it was in the Old Testament. Unless they sacrificed animals in atone for their sin. But they still had to go back and do that stuff over and over and over again. Work is a good thing. You have to provide, provide for your family, right? You, a lot of jobs, you can request to be off on the weekend, but they're not going to give you every weekend off. You have to, Most times you have to rotate weekend unless you just got to work. A lot of people work Monday through Fridays, but that's not the whole uh, society. Lots and lots of people. I would say what seventy five percent of the U.S. population alone have to work weekends. Maybe rotate weekends or something like that. Like me, I'm off some weekends. But just it's hard to ever know what weekend you know. Um, it just chant you know chant. Some people are off every weekend. Some people have to rotate weekends. Some people are never off. So you're gonna say they are cursed. They in trouble with God because they have to work and provide. If the jobs tell them they have to work on something, that's not gonna be held against them. I have some preacher out there talking about even the trying to blame us for society for the days of the week. Money, it was the sun, God. So God ain't going to hold against, hold that against us for for going by Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Everything ain't going to be held against us. It's just under the hand that we are under. Society make us have to work Believers, people work on set. It's not gonna be held against us. Like I said, a lot of people you can ask. A lot of times jobs accommodate you, but a lot of times they won't. Then what you do? You just, you just quit, or you work. Now ask them that. They won't answer them questions. So y'all gonna y'all gonna y'all gonna uh condemn everybody that have to work on the weekend. Y'all already condemn their this society. They won't answer that question. When I was younger and really didn't understand, I thought I had the same vision on the Sabbath. Not working, but as I grow older and start learning the scriptures, I started to realize that it 
it's not the savage. You have to think about that. And I realize that that can't be held against us. We are not Hebrew Israelites. We are not under the same laws that they were back in, back under Moses. It's funny how they want to talk about the law of God. Want to talk about, the, but they don't want. There was somebody even told me that we, uh, uh, little free that. Well, y'all don't understand the Mosaic law. The Ten Commandments, Ten Commandments, but you got six hundred, uh, uh, six hundred more laws that govern over those Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments was given, but you had other laws that was given to govern the old laws. And it's funny how they don't want to talk about all that. They don't ever want to go back. They don't ever want to talk about the old law. How children were sacrificed for disobedience. They don't want to talk about the old laws under the Moses law, Moses law. They want to be, they want to put people, they want to, they, they glad to put people under the law. But when you put the law on them and show them, they don't want to deal with that. Even asking them about atoning for sin. You ask them they atone for sin like they did it, they don't talk about that. Nah. It's funny how y'all want to, how they want to be under the law, put everybody on the law, but when it comes to them themselves, they don't want to accept the law. Ask them, do you atone for sin? Like they did, and if they answer, they have to say no, no. But if they if they is doing that practice, it's not doing them any good because Jesus Christ fulfilled those laws. Pastor Paul told some of them. So you no longer under grace, you're under law. You to determine to do stuff your way and do it. You you no longer under grace. You're under the law. I believe in the Ten Commandments. But there was an issue surrounding the Sabbath, and Jesus cleared that up. You can't ignore that. Jesus was accused for violating the Sabbath. Working. Work, he was working. No matter how you try to disguise it, he was working. He asked him a couple questions surrounding work, doing good. Now, all of a sudden, working is a bad thing. Guess what you get when you deal with these Hebrew Israelites? They don't ever want to uh, talk direct. They don't ever want to talk direct. Listen to Pastor Dial, listen a lot of them. They want to do all the talking and all that. Then when you ask them questions, they don't want to answer the questions because they know they so easily get hemmed up. And a lot of them are flat out just ignore the teachings of Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I am the law. Came to fulfill the law. Whatever Jesus did regarding it, we can do it. His disciples did it. They worked. So you have to look, look forward. Come forward. A lot of them don't want to do that. But they want then they want to pick and choose what law they want to hold to the old law, but then they want to pick and choose what law they hold to. Sabbath is 
603 more laws that they want to ignore. They don't want to be bound on them law. They want to hold to the law or the old, but they don't want to be bound to our law. They want to now they want to separate the Ten Commandments. Well, the Ten Commandments and the law, the law of Moses are different. The Ten Commandments will give them first. That shall not kill, that shall not steal, that shall not bow, fall, etc., etc. Et but then God gave the laws of Moses to govern them to those laws. So if you want to live under the law, you have to accept all that that came with living under the law. Sacrifice, killing a brother in law had to marry his brother's wife. If she if he wasn't die and leave her widow but without a son, he had to marry that woman. If he didn't, if he refused, he could be stoned to death. If she refused to marry, she could be stoned to death. Children could be stoned to death for disobedience. They had to put that evil away from them. That's why I tell them, unless you got your own government over in the United States, y'all know how y'all Hebrew is like all you want to. Unless you operating under your own government, separated from the United States government, you, you, you tell the lie anyway. You can't ignore it. Remember the Sabbath. 